Uh, he's enabling himself. I want to announce the next play or the next GM in the next game. So, anything else you want to say before taking off? Nope. Thanks for thanks for having me. Uh, you've you've made an addiction out of me because now I'm gonna beat this. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Have a good evening, everybody. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for two more matches tonight. Sweet. Take I'll care. See you guys next cool. time. Thanks, guys. See ya. All right, this is Kusa Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. We have four people going up against each other. We might actually only have three for this next match. I'm getting clarification just to make sure. I do want to give a big shout out to all the people who have raided, hosted. I saw Jango Storm, Kronos V2 did. Uh, Yuge, resubscribe. Gustian, you don't know me. Mango Panda, uh, who is my husband, that kind of helps. <laughs> Adamant Art Vile, thank you for the host just now as well. So let's go ahead and reveal who is choosing the next game. Our dear Royal Blue Wizard is going to be choosing. Royal Blue Wizard, hop into chat. Almesha, thank you for hosting. Amazing Toaster, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Oh, yeah. Hey, RBW, how you doing? Uh, I'm all right. Well, that's good. Uh, I, I know that the next game isn't exactly all right. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this didn't come out in the U.S., did it? Nope. Okay, but the the media that it's based off of did, right? The media it's based off of has long been a collaboration between the two countries. Um, and so they both have different takes on the, uh, on the material. But the uh, base idea of the uh, material stays the same between the countries. Oh, yeah. Well, just so everybody knows, we do have a Transformers game. Mystery of Convoy, as far as I can tell. Oh, it looks like some people got the correct vibe and knew what was coming up. <laughs> All you have to do is talk vaguely about it and people know. I mean, this game is kind of infamous in some ways. It uh, was on the uh, Japanese uh, show Game Center CX. Ah. I believe I've actually played quite a bit of this game. I'm not sure I finished it, but I enjoy this. Let me see if it is the correct one. All I see is cup noodles and a transformer. Apparently a cup noodle just transformed into this. I, I don't know what's going on. Thank you, Twitch advertisements. I'm confused. Oh, yeah, I've played this. <laughs> I really enjoy the music, okay? Let me just tell you. So, would you say that this is a run-and-gun, a platformer? What? Where would you fit this into the world of genres? This would be a run-and-gun if your ability to shoot was even remotely decent at uh, killing anything. Okay. Honestly, this plays more like a, uh, a combination of a prototype, prototype uh, runner game, uh, like Cannibalt, and a really lousy platformer run-and-gun hybrid that didn't really understand how anything works. Okay, that's hopeful. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I I also feel like they miss some huge opportunities when it comes to uh, some of the bosses in this game. Uh, because guess what? No, I'm not I'm not spoiling. I'm not spoiling at all. Yeah, I'm going to uh, let the I'll let the players and the viewers enjoy this. Uh, I also only gave them enough information on controls such that they could play the game, but I leave it up to them to figure out that there's extra stuff that they can do. Sweet. I'm working on getting everything captured right now. Uh, luckily, it looks like everybody is pretty much up and running. Uh, so, luckily, I don't know. I, I Thank you, all players, for getting things up as quickly as you can. Uh, do, 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 do. By the way, do you know who is doing the game audio today? 
I believe it is... I uh, believe it's Kronos. Okay. I'll go ahead. I'm just getting everything sorted so that we have this. If you haven't seen the tournament before, we have four people who are blind racing in a game. Four people just going and trying to destroy this. Make as much progress as they can. Uh, also, for those who are questioning why it's Convoy with an M, uh, M and N, especially in the early uh, 90s and late 80s, as far as translating from Japanese to English, tended to be the same letter because it was hard to distinguish and who really cared. So <laughs> that's, why you'll, that's why you'll often see it known as the Famicom or the Famicom. Ah, now I know. So if you did not know... We actually have somebody coming and joining us today who's going to be doing uh, just a zombie playthrough. We only have three players today uh, due to one going AWOL. Oh, also, I uh, put an English patch on this game, so it is slightly uh, more understandable. And if they manage to beat the entire game, the ending is in English. Oh, nice. Okay, that'll be... Do you think we'll see anybody complete it? I have no idea. I I don't think anybody's going to complete it personally. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we've had this once or twice in the past. Uh, in Cusa Grande. Might be mistaken. There we go. Okay, I think we have all of the audio up. So one person, Corn Dan, is actually a GM, but he will be playing so that we have our beautiful four people here. We love to have zombies here. Zombies are inspirational. Corn Dan wants to know if he can join voice chat while he's playing to give us some live inspiration. Absolutely. Okay. I love having people join us when uh, they're playing games. Hello, Corn Dan. Hi there. You ready for this? Um, I guess as ready as I'm going to be. I know nothing about this game, so let's see how it goes. Yay! Oh, Roy Royal Blue Wizard. And you're right here talking to me. Thank you for all those gift subs. <laughs> You've given... A number of them. <laughs> a, a very nice number of them. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate chat going and uh, living the meme. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Here we do. Here we do. My Here English. We do. Here we do, everybody. Here we do. I'm doing the you countdown. You are very well today. I, it's broken for me today. I don't know what happened. But I'm doing the countdown. As soon as we see movement, I will start our timer. Wish them the best of luck. Send all of your mojo. And as soon as I see movement, timer starts. That sounded like Transformers. Vaguely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have two deaths already. Oh, three. Four. Okay, everybody died. Oh shoot, I forgot to tell them how to continue. That's, Send, that's important. Yeah, that is. Send a I'll message go. in Discord at them all. Yeah. Yeah, I'll so, do that. This game is definitely legendary in ways. It's uh, extremely difficult. At least early on. I know that things become a little bit earlier the more... Or, uh, I feel like it becomes a little easier when you get pickups or certain upgrades, but I'm not 100% sure. 
I, I did definitely did not get those uh, pickups. Uh... Wow. <laughs> There's so much death. Everybody's crying. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I think that we forgot to tell people there is going to be some flashing in this game. Uh, uh, I if warned you missed the that. players. You warned the players. Okay, let's warn chat as well. So just watch out. Avert your eyes if needed. I say that now, but I'm sorry. I didn't know. Basically, if it's on Cusa Grande, realize that it might destroy you. That, that's a reasonable assumption. But we'll try to give warnings as much as possible whenever, whenever we are able to, but at times it's just a little difficult. Oh my gosh. Good job, Corndan. You're doing better than all of our players. Well, that's what happens when you're a zombie, okay? Uh, well, bes besides the fact that I'm clearly cheating with all the extra information I, I get from this, um, it it's almost tradition that as long as I'm not, like, playing, like, in it with, with real consequences, I apparently do well. Yeah, it's the same here. Okay, so how do you continue in this game? Uh, I posted it in the Discord, so uh, our, our players will figure it out. Well, I, w I was asking for chat's sake. Uh, okay, apparently... so go ahead. Upon the game over screen, you hold A, B, and start until the music ends, and it will reload you at the last checkpoint you were at, uh, which in most cases is the beginning of the stage, or uh, it could be at the beginning of the boss fight. Ah, okay, gotcha. Press and hold A, B and start, and then release once the music ends. Yep. That's ridiculous. Also, to be perfectly honest, I have not actually beaten the second level. I spent about an hour on it, eventually decided, this game is terrible. I'm going to inflict it on people. Good, that's what I love to hear. Okay. Corndan is still trying to fight this planet. Well, I mean, because of course you'd fight the planet. Oh, hey, Puexel discovered how to transform. Good oh, job, Oh, good, Puexel. you killed the planet. Good job. Wait, you can transform? Yes, this wouldn't be a Transformers game if you couldn't transform. <laughs> I mean, you've got a point there. So how Not do you... that it actually helps. Pink Pajamas is sending over a giant raid, by the way. 127 people coming on over. Come join us for Transformers. Come oh, I hope they can handle bright flashing lights. Yeah, okay, bright flashing lights warning for all of you pajama people. Oh, Gordon! Like, what is flying out of this planet? What disease does it have? I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to try to uh, translate whatever this game's lore is, because it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, if you want, I'll explain the deep lore as far as I understand it, but... <laughs> There's not too much I can work with. That's fine. Right. Uh, the lore is you're a truck well, man. Well, Sound Meister has asked, so I shall answer. Oh, if you've okay. seen the original Transformers movie, you know what happens to Optimus Prime in it. So, as a result, uh, we're trying to figure out how we can somehow bring him back. As, and therefore, uh, Convoy, or Optimus Prime, is totally not around anymore. And so you play as Ultra Magnus. There is also a, a hidden unlock that if you manage to collect letters in seven of the stages, you can unlock Rodimus Prime, who plays identical to Ultra Magnus, but sucks more because he's Rodimus Prime. Ah. Oh boy. By the way, this was made by Isco Incorporated. They also made the game R-Type, which... From what I know, our type is pretty good, isn't it? I do like our type. I mean, that is Iron's I, I, uh, series. I, I I like our type a lot better than I like this game. Uh, yeah, I could imagine it. It's much better than this. Okay, I'm I'm seeing our type type love right now in chat. 
So, what you, what's your impression with the controls, Corn Dan? You know, surprisingly better than I thought. Right, um, the, the jumps are a little floaty, but it doesn't seem unreasonable. Uh, and, and like the left to right motion, not so bad. Okay. Um, like the, you know, the truck, you know, being the truck, not a good idea. Don't be a truck. Okay. Don't be a truck. Uh, yeah, like I, I right, I've heard bad things about this game. Um, you know, in, in general about things, it's, it's obviously very difficult. Um, because everything kills you in one shot, and things just, like, show up. Uh, but it doesn't control- it doesn't feel like it controls that bad. That or I have Stockholm Syndrome, and I would completely believe that, too. You know, I- honestly, I think that this is a pretty good round one game for Cusa Grande, which, you know, we're still in the early stages. It's playable, it's not the worst game in the world, uh, but at the same time, it has issues. Uh, and like, yeah, it's from- oh, go ahead. I think I would rage at this game, though, without the- the, the continues. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, the publisher okay. of this, by the way, also worked on Earthworm Jim and Earthworm Jim 2. Uh, the publisher also, of this game was Takara. Takara Tomi is one of the biggest toy, toy makers in Japan. They own Transformers. Oh, well, that also, makes sense uh, why they made this game. Also, good job to uh, Poexel for beating the first boss, and nice. Arborelli is up to the boss, so that's good too. Yeah, I feel like Poexel. Oh no, Ar <laughs> Arborelli just jumped into the planet. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I love it. So I, I will. I will say right. Trying to fight. I guess that's Unicron. Um, Right, is kind of a pain because you have to like jump up and barely time those things. You know, I, I could see that being easier, like once you you know that you know, but it's not a good. Um, Ooh, Arborelia had a great strat: turn into the truck and shoot the planet from below. Oh, that, that is exactly what I did because that works really well. I, I see. I wish I'd known I could turn into the truck at that point in time. Um. Because that- that has got to be the strat to go. Yeah, it looks so like one... Quexel has a double shot. I'm not sure how he got it, though. There are power-ups that certain enemy jets will give you. Um, and they consist of five possible letters. One of them gives you a uh, angled double shot. One of them gives you an invincibility barrier. One of them gives you an extra life. Uh, and one of them removes all of your power. Of course it would. Because why not? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of death in this game. This is kind of amazing how much they're dying. Kronos just got the two-way power-up as well. Okay. Yeah, and I saw the letter from the ship. P is good. Uh, additionally, yeah, the, the... and I did not mention this to the players, but they managed to find it out will be a wonderful surprise for them, but there are two warps in this game. There is a red jet in stage 2 and in stage 7 that jumps you ahead two levels. Okay. If you manage to kill it, but it takes more than one shot, so good luck with that. <laughs> I, I can't even hit with single shots. Yeah. I mean, this this doesn't seem like the most playable when it comes to trying to shoot anything. Had good ideas. Execution, you know, leaves a lot to be desired, I'd say. By the way, Poexel's doing a pretty good job getting through some of this level, stage two. Uh, He's I back at the beginning again. I've seen this part of the game way too many times to Ooh. not know where he is. I'll let you know if he passes where I did. I mean, essentially, he's right near where Corn Dan is at this point. Wow. Well, I, I wouldn't surprise me if he was farther than me. No, you're about the same place. I don't expect either of you to get too much further within the next five minutes or so. Maybe so, the next ten minutes. For those who don't know, when we have a zombie like Corn Dan hop in and play, uh, essentially, they are just playing in order to fill a space and give commentary about how much they hate the game. They have no impact on the placings here. So, we have three people right now. 
Kronos, Arborelia, and Puexel duking it out. Puexel and Arborelia have made a significant amount of progress. Arborelia, unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to continue. Oh, Kronos made it to the boss, but died! Okay, as long as Kronos continues, it'll be fine. Good. Like, as so. That was uh, a very clean fight. I love it. Yep, that worked great. So, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, this whole time I've been I've been staring at Ultra Magnus, and I swear to god it looks like he's got a Christmas hat on. Aww. Maybe. I think that's actually supposed to be a shoulder pad, but who knows. But, but, but I, I mean, it does kind of look like, like, um, a Christmas hat, yeah, you know, that they right. only drew half the hat. I think it's, you're playing as the Transformer Santa Claus here. I mean, that does sound like Ultra Magnet. <laughs> ah, so, uh, yeah, I know that this game has gotten a lot of infamy. Uh, it was on Game Center. Uh, I, I believe yes. that this was also on AVGN back in the day. Uh, which, by the way, they're still making episodes. Uh, recently, they just played Ernest Evans for their James and M Mike Monday. That was pretty hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, th this game is definitely known, but very few people have actually played it. They just know it's got infamy. Oh, this game uh, had its own TV show. Nice. Also, congrats to Corndan for grabbing the D power up, which depowers you. Also, oh no, he's the boss, which is further than I've ever gotten. Good job. Uh, that, that, that's because I got like an invincibility. Um... Yeah, the invincibility is really good if you can get it. I, I I don't think I'd have made it to the boss if I didn't get it. Well, it's random, so. Oh, jeez, yeah, Corndan is definitely in the lead, but has no <laughs> bearing on this match. None at all. So, I mean, uh, sorry, continue. Because that's how it goes. Yeah. Every time. By the way, I want to say Puexel is doing pretty darn well, uh, but he's always done well when it came to... Uh, some of these races that we've had on Cusa Grande. I'm always surprised because Plexel is definitely an RPG person, but still somehow gets a lot of these games. Like, they, they work for him. I mean, he started off as a Castlevania player, so I think he's got, uh, jank, uh, skills already in the bag. You've got a good point. <laughs> So, one thing I've noticed about this game is that spawning enemies off the screen is just a really weird thing to do. You can kind of move just so that the enemy is just visible enough oh, to shoot them, Plexel. but it may or may not work. That robbed you! Yeah, is it more difficult with two orbs than one? I, I mean, just in that, that you, you gotta avoid two bugs. Ah, the moon bugs, and, and, I hate them. And because for, for some odd reason it's not letting me transform, so I, I gotta play it like this, I guess. You're, you're still able to transform, I don't know why you're saying you're not able to. Oh, well, I'm sure I can, it's just not letting me do it. And, and it's, it, the problem's probably me. You do know well, how to transform, actually, yes? Um, I, I've hit buttons and transformed, yes. <laughs> okay, so you don't know how to transform. Well, he, he has <laughs> transformed. <laughs> Right. What? What's the trick? What's the... You hold down. Oh. That's it. You hold down and you compress yourself into a truck. You hold up and you uncompress yourself. I mean, that sort of makes sense. But if Corndan was hitting down... I, I don't know. Bad games Whatever. sometimes just have weird rules. Y like... You know what? The other way worked, so... Like, Double Planet ends up, uh, taking away your transformation powers. That might be what happens. Oh sure, my gosh. Not? Vertical levels. <laughs> oh, Gordon Dan. This is beautiful. All of the other players are still on stage, too. 
this game only gets worse. So one thing I can tell is that all the low-flying jets will transform when you shoot them. The high-flying jets don't transform and give you power-ups. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Poexel so just got a dude to come out of the jet. Uh, so, Crazy Sunshine, you can shoot up only when you're a truck. A only otherwise... if you're a truck, you can only shoot up. Uh, no. Depends on the button you press. You can shoot forward or up. Uh, when you are a, when you are the truck, you will shoot a forward arcing shot downwards, and when you are, um, and if you press the other button, you shoot straight up, and when you're, uh, in humanoid form, you shoot a shot straight forwards. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Honestly, it's most of this you're probably gonna want to stay in your humanoid form. It's just, you know, as soon as you t turn into a truck, you can't jump. Trucks don't jump. I've driven many trucks, never jumped. Well, at least the trucks you've driven never jump. Well, that's because <laughs> I am a sane driver, okay? I know how to drive correctly. I don't jump when I'm driving. Ten stages, Joey Gatorman. Ten stages. So, I, I think mostly my complaint about this stage is, is that you want to go jump and avoid some of the shots right here, and, and you just collide into, like, the thing right above you. I mean, that's what ceilings are for. <laughs> I guess. Oh, yeah, the fact that everything is a one-hit kill is rough in this. Definitely it makes it a lot more difficult. It also doesn't help that, like, the different variety of enemies, there's some that sh just shoot at you. There's some who just uh, shoot if you're in their general vicinity. Um, like, the turrets will just shoot in your direction, but they uh, shots are always horizontal. Whereas, uh, some of the, um, whereas, like, the funny-looking lobster-like uh, ships will fly in a funny pattern and aim directly for you. Oh no. Stupid lobsters. Every time. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, because my uh, ability to translate 8-bit transformers is not very good. Ah, that's fair enough. Oh, what was that, Corn Dad? I don't Just... know. I, I actually hit the jump button and I ran into that thing. Go early a go. You currently have the uh, invincibility power up. Ah, it ran. I didn't know there was an invincibility power up. That's nice. Yes. If you get the B, uh, it's a barrier, and it, you are invincible for, like, 15 seconds, which is usually enough to run through most of the level. Oh, yeah. It's true. By the way, let's just talk about Transformers a little bit, because I thought the idea was that Transformers were these huge, extremely powerful robots. But here you are, little P, flying through the air, waxy in the face, like, I, I mean the vegetable P. Uh, wax in the face, and then suddenly, bam, you're dead. You explode that quickly. Well, to be well, fair, Optimus Prime went down in one shot, so... It's true to the canon. Well... Hey, Kronos realized that they have invincibility. Now, they're out of it. But, to the boss, that puts Kronos in a solid second or er, first place right now. Yeah. Corndan, Corndan is fighting yeah, this boss here, but doesn't count. Just fight the Decepticon logo. It's totally a valid boss. Oh no, Puexel failed to uh, hold the buttons long enough. Back oh. to the level one again. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> welcome to stage three, Kronos. Nice, Kronos. Hey, good job, Corndan. You killed the Decepticon logo. I did. Welcome to stage four. It is about as good as every other stage. For, it, it, except you bounce off the top of the screen, just like every other stage. Yep. And there's Quite, no floor. Quetzal got through stage one in one shot. Like, 
I'm not too surprised, honestly. He's back in this. You're, you're never out of this. Oh, you not can, at all. Not until you're about to, uh, stage five or six, in which case, then you'll kind of regret it. Even if they, uh, were to get to something like stage four, the warp exists. If they can kill the right enemy, they'll just be able to, uh, jump straight back to stage four from stage two. Wait, why is there a skull next to my name? It's because I'm a game master and I'm just filling in. So I'm a zombie. He's a zombie, yeah. As is Kuso tradition, whenever... I I'm dead inside. He yeah, exactly. Per tradition. <laughs> Basically, we only had three people. Uh, one person ended up no showing, so Corn Dan luckily volunteered to show us a little bit more about this game and give his opinions about it. I also, by the way, really appreciate how the trucks jump, how the uh, tanks jump, uh, just because they can. Oh, I mean, uh, Aurelia not? made a good shot there, but homing shots hurt. So I think. Sort of my mindset at this point is, if I know about invincibility, I don't know if Poexel knows about it quite yet, but if I knew about it, I would probably just work on grinding out an invincibility until I was able to just plow through this stage. Well, you can try, but I don't believe, uh, the en I don't believe enemies who drop power-ups respawn, so... I'm at least gonna kill them, so hopefully I have a chance. Kronos is on to stage four. I'm oh, Plexel! Progress. No! Yeah, Kronos is definitely in the lead when it comes to this match. I'm a little bit concerned. I would. Probably, yeah, revert to human form. There we go. Corndan, you're in exactly the same place as Kronos right now. Except that you got past it and he died. <laughs> well, I, I died too. Oh yeah, I saw it, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> See, Transformers are more than meets the eye. They're actually also fireworks. Also well, true. The uh, F power up, from my understanding, is light power up. But good luck realizing this, unless you just hold down the A button. Oh, I saw Kronos flying a little bit. Yeah. So. Yeah, he just grabbed. He grabbed it and used it correctly. There's so much game over. There's so much death. Okay, Plexel and Arborelia both continuing on stage two. I'm not sure Plexel has realized that the low jets don't give you power-ups. I mean, it took me a good amount of time to f try to figure out which enemies, uh, which enemies got dropped power-ups. It, it's taken me a lot of deaths, yeah. So much death. Thank you, Cadus. That is Wait. both great and horrible. Seriously, the multi-shot actually slows down your shots? Yes. Well, oh no. Yes. I don't... You, get, you, you can shoot in more directions, though. Win-win. I mean... Ish. Kronos got invincibility. I don't think they'll be able to get through all of the stage, but still a significant amount. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they've got music on. That's the only tell for when invincibility ends. They do. Ooh! Jet just sniped Kronos. Unfortunately, that's a game over. Puexel taking another death. There's just so much death. Death all around. Couldn't go to a graveyard and find this much death. 
I think Korndan being a zombie is very, very apt given how uh, much people are dying in this game. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, that's... So, uh, Go ahead. I, I noticed that they put walls down there so you can't just float underneath the, uh, <laughs> that part of the level. I was gonna try it. <laughs> Good idea, but they're not that nice. They are not that nice. No! Kronos! <laughs> oh, hey, it looks like Quexel has invincibility. Grab so the bee. Cadis, the wiki says that the invincibility is not time-based, it is merely three hits. Ah. It's not that I could tell. Yeah, neither could... No, he's taken more than... Like, Puexel has hit a lot of stuff. Like... I don't know. Oh, there. Nah, I don't he's know either. Dead. Yeah, that's definitely helpful. If uh, if Quaxel or Arborelia can get the B early on, they may be able to just rush through this and make it to the boss. Additionally, if Arborelia can kill that red jet that she was uh, in front of two lives ago. I believe that's the one that drops the warp portal. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh! The lobster ship! I hate the lobster ships. Everybody, lobsters are officially the Transformers enemies, okay? More so than the Decepticons, lobsters. They've got a seafood allergy, and they just can't handle it. We're now making creative use of, uh, truck mode. Truck mode! My biggest complaint about truck mode is you can't jump. I love that you can shoot the power-ups, though. That makes me happy. Well, I mean, you clearly didn't want them if you were shooting them. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh no, Kronos accidentally started over! Oh no, Kronos! Oh, that's gonna be rough. Well, he is in first. But yes, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Oh no! Okay. That 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 hurt making it all the way that far and then having to go back to the start of the level. It does. Plexel is starting over as well. Or are there limited continues? No, it's infinite continues as far as I can tell. It's just you have you can screw up the timing on the uh, release of the buttons. I mean, why not? You know. Mm. You know, we're about half an hour into this. I think that it's probably going to be fine for Puexel at this point. Oh, I would have gotten the upgrade, but, well, it's fine. What, what letter was it? R? I don't remember which one R is. R. It's the pirate upgrade. You immediately become a pirate transformer. Remember, this is Transformers. You can become anything. Oh, the, uh, the R is not a power-up. The R is one of the Rodimus letters. If you, you know, want to become a worse Transformer. Wait, what? If you collect the seven letters of Rodimus's name you can uh, and beat the game, you can play your next playthrough as Rodimus Prime. The uh -oh. follow-up leader to the uh, Autobots after Optimus Prime has an unfortunate incident with Megatron. Uh -oh. uh, that said, he doesn't play any differently at all whatsoever, as it's just a palette swap. And he sucks more by virtue of being Rodimus Prime. <laughs> You're not a big fan, huh? No, Rodimus Prime sucks. <laughs> also, good job, Korndan. Stage 5. Nice! That boss, felt, that boss felt like the easiest boss so far, honestly. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, why was the fighter jet so big compared to you? Like, we because have- Because it's Starscream? Oh. I assume it's Starscream? Uh, no, it's Nemesis. Oh, okay. Okay, Plexel, back to stage two. One thing to note here is that even though both Plexel and Kronos have gone back to stage one before, uh, it seems like Plexel has definitely got the hang of it a lot faster. Uh, and because of that, he's able to get back into uh, the next stage quicker and hopefully make a push to get through it to stage three. Kronos did make it to stage four, but if he can't finish stage one, then he's, you know, he could potentially fall behind the others. Ooh, Plexel the lobster! They, they, well, they still have to beat stage two, so this will take a while. Yes, I did, Liz. Oh, jeez. This game is so rude. Yes, yes. It like, so... Sorry. But, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, really? Why so? Oh, yeah. I don't know, like, like there's something endearing about kind of how bad it is. But, it, but it's not, like, so bad that, like, I can't get, you know, like... It's infinite continue, so, you know, you can go do whatever you want, like, okay, I don't feel so bad about dying, you know, as long as I can make eventually make it to the boss. So it's like, it's almost like there's no, um, you know, no, no reason to not go try things. It's true. I think that some of the players are getting a little frustrated just because this game has issues. <laughs> But just oh, it's not, it's not good, right? But it, you know, it, it is completely awful. But I'm enjoying it. Yeah, gotcha. It, if it only had like three continues, I think I would be like rage face all over this. I think <laughs> if you had no, if you had limited continues, this game would not. I would not have put out this game just because the sheer yeah, amount of reverts is already maddening. <laughs> not being able to even keep your progress more so. Okay, Plexel, by the way, is going a little slower, a little more methodical this time. I think that is a good call. Oh! I think that just gives the lobsters time to go and kill him. Yeah, the lobsters seem like the only enemies who really benefit much from you going slow, though. So yep. if you can manage to juke the lobsters, going a little bit slower is fine. Also, for those who care about the Transformers hot lore, the uh, Nemesis is a Decepticon warship. And which explains why it's so much bigger than you. As opposed to Starscream, who should be roughly your size. By the way, Kronos has invincibility. Okay, it ran out, but we're really close to the end of stage two. Yeah, that invincibility has made a huge difference. Oh, but there we go. The one hit death. This is like... Kind of the unforgivable aspect, probably why it never made it outside of Japan. It's just... More than Nintendo hard is what I'd say. Oh no, Cordan! <laughs> I know, I, it ate my input or something. Oh no! Ah, well, you know, if everybody is enjoying these jams, that's awesome. If you're not enjoying them, by the way, we do have more matches coming up in a little bit. Uh, we have one more today. We have three matches tomorrow on the GDQ site. On their on their Twitch. It's gonna be awesome! The Invitational! Wait, Cordhead, you're is... playing tomorrow, aren't you? I am playing tomorrow. I'm in the third match tomorrow. Oh, yeah! No, Defending I thought you were in the second the... one. No, I'm in the third one. Tina's in the second one. 
I'm relatively sure that they're switched around. Well, then, if that's the case, I'm in the second one. I don't know. I'm <laughs> ready for it either way. <laughs> okay. Don't ask him. He's a zombie. I'm relatively sure I helped with scheduling there. Let me go, let me go take a look. Make me go look through all the logs. I am going to make you go look through all the logs. Thank you. good attempt by Aurelia, but again, the, uh, lobsters... I think more lobsters show up as you are, uh, as you go slower, which is why it's a good idea to go fast, just not too fast. Uh-huh. Okay, well, when we get it figured out, we can go ahead and change that around then. Sorry, I'm doing scheduling right now in the middle of this. Because <laughs> I messed it up. That's why I let other people do this. Because I mess everything up. That's why Cadis is here, because my mind is dumb. I am honestly not sure who is further between Puexel and Arborelia. I don't know, because both of them have made it essentially to the same point-ish in, in this stage. Like, I'm hoping one of them can at least make it to the boss so we have a, a pretty clear distinction between the two. Oh, Granos! Yeah, me too. Uh, people saying this looks fun. I think that the game is fun, just kind of dumb. And kind of terrible. And now Corndan is fighting one of the giant combination Transformers. We're not exactly sure which. Probably Menasaur, but it's kind of hard to tell. Huh. Interesting, interesting. That's my guess, Soundmeister, but... Doesn't really look too accurate, but I mean, this is a uh, eight-bit hardware. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the biggest crimes in this game, uh, because I think one crime is that essentially you go a little too fast for how big the screen is, and there's not really an option to go slower when you want to. Uh, it's very easy to go zero to a hundred. Uh, another yeah. thing. Oh yeah. Zero to a hundred is is literally like just press forward. Yeah, it definitely isn't Devastator. That's true. Puexel got the invincibility and is running. This is the way to do it, Puexel. Go, Puexel, go! You've got invincibility. Use it. Oh, he's using it. Trust me. Oh! Oh, the lobster! Oh! No. That was... Ending. But yeah, another thing about uh, this games and game design is that, in general, you want the perfect video game player. That is, a person who has the perfect ability to react to things that happen in the game. You want somebody who essentially is at the prime, to be able to react to anything that you throw at them. If it is literally impossible for them to react, then it's probably a bad choice. Which, honestly, you can see, like, even games like Cuphead, even though it's incredibly difficult, at the same time, uh, you can usually, like, even without playing the boss, you technically can see when the boss is winding up for an attack, or winding up for something specific. I mean, it just comes down to how much memorization are you expected to uh, perform. The meanest thing about this game are those lobsters, because they are vicious, they home in on you. 
and everything else is not so bad, but they're just, it feels like they're there to prevent you from uh, taking too long, but their timer is so short that if you just stop moving, they start going after you. Yeah. <laughs> Corndan getting through the descending stage and on to the next Decepticon icon. This one red. Urgh, that means it's angry. Hey, Plexel, by the way, fighting boss two. This puts nice. him in a solid second place at this point. It does. Good job, Plexel. Kronos, by the way, has made it all the way to stage four. Oh, Plexel double kill right there. I'm so sad, but he's he's got a chance. Corndan on to stage seven. Cordan, what are you doing to this poor little game? He's corn Danning. That's what he does. And no RPGC. That would be terrifying. So so it is definitely only three collisions for the barrier. Can ah, confirm. gotcha. Okay. Right. By the way, Arborelia is onto the boss. Wow, this is starting to get close. Soundmeister. I wish. Sir Soundwave is the coolest. But no, this is... This predates Shattered Glass. Oh my gosh. And uh, for those who don't know and want some more hot lore, uh, Shattered Glass is an alternate universe in the comics that um, flips the roles of the Autobots and Decepticon. Oh no. Okay, Poexel's starting to make some progress in this level. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't like it. Not a fan of the vertical scrolling just because there's so much being thrown at you and you can't see tons. That's one big problem as well that you just. The, the game doesn't scroll the way that you would like it to. I'm pretty sure that that, that guy just popped up right in front of me, but he was kind of a jerk. I mean, that's what they do. Okay, nice job. Quexel is taking this stage nice and slow, which is good because Arborelia is starting to get to stage three as well. And if yeah, Quexel rushes better. and dies, then that will set him back. We're sorry, Quexel. That cassette tape is not a plat is not a power up for you. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's a platform. Why? Does an enemy drop a platform? Ooh, Poexel fighting the first Decepticon icon. Because it's Ratbat, and uh, when defeated, it retreats back into its cassette form. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Yeah, Poexel still definitely has second at this point. Gonna have to fight the Decepticon icon and not take too much damage. Gotta shoot the little triangle at the top, the glowing... Scary triangle. Oh, and there goes Plexel. Not take too much damage, bro? I mean, not take any damage at all. Well, I, I mean, any damage is too much damage. He's not wrong. Yeah, That's yeah, fair. what are you talking about, Royal Blue Wizard? I obviously think before I talk. Hey, Plexel's on to stage four. All right, time good. to enjoy the wonderful stage four, Plexel. I hope he enjoys the innovative music of stage four, which is exactly the same as every other stage. Quexel <laughs> 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 could possibly move into the lead, depending on how he does in this sure. section, though. As long as he doesn't uh, screw up his uh, game over, uh, his continue command, he'll be fine. This is getting good. I always love to see lead changes. Now, again, I, I thought Poexel would probably be a strong contender today because he made it to the bracket last time, from what I remember. Uh, and even in Tuso Grande, he did particularly well. Dream TV, in the last 10 seconds, he moved from second place to first. It was, it was impressive. And Bass Guitar Bill was robbed that match, but it was... it was great. Oh! 
Apparently, Poexa was eliminated in the tiebreaker, didn't quite make it to the bracket, but was extremely close. Oh no, Poexel! I believe Poexel is in the lead now. I think so. So the current order is Poexel, Kronos, Arborelia, but Arborelia, but this could change very quickly. Oh yeah, anytime. Especially considering Arborelia just made it to the, C the Decepticon logo. Not the Decepticons. So this is just super close for everyone. Oh my gosh. I feel bad. Kronos made it a good distance, but messed up the continue, which to be fair, everybody did. It was gonna happen to somebody, or everybody. Yep. This is the first one, bottom tier. The first Decepticon logo, correct. Okay, Puexel taking on the bats, going slow and deliberately here. That's the way to kill bats, okay? You don't rush into a bat fight. It occurs to me that if you got the flying power up at the very beginning of stage two, you could probably fly through the entire stage. Like above it? Yeah. Because the only things that could possibly hit you are the power up jets, and they fly. But they would fly. They fly lower than the tops than the exact ceiling. You might. So oh I no! Poixel got the downgrade. I mean, I think no! that's how I made it through stage five. I mean, it works. Oh, Kronos has the barrier. Barrier no, is how he managed to get through this stage the first time. I think no, that's the lobster! Though. Oh my gosh! Ugh. It's always the lobsters. Seriously, if anybody here is an undersea creature, go punch a lobster for me. Okay, it would be highly appreciated. Oh no, Corgan! What boss is so, this? Uh... We're not, I, I think it's probably Devastator, but I can't tell. So this is the first one that's kind of crap because you can't, like, blow those things up. So, so I can't, I can't do the, the, the standard boss cheesing I've been doing, uh, basically, um, for these. Oh, yeah. Just, just sit on there and, and just smash the, uh. Uh, bottom tier, Trypticon is the final boss, so no. Uh, I'm pretty- so, uh, Kate might be right, it might be Bruticus, but I, again, I can't really tell. I just know it's one of the giant, uh, combination Transformers. Bruticus. You know, I know, like, literally nothing about Transformers. I They're saw part of one of the movies. That's about it. Just watch the original, uh... 1980s movie with uh, Leonard Nimoy and Orson Welles in it, and uh, then you've seen all you need to see. Okay, that sounds that good. That is completely the plot of this game. Yeah, I, I can mean, tell. Yeah. Do you do you go fight lobsters in space? Well, there well, is a Bell song, so sure. <laughs> Hey, right, Arborelia so is, is starting to make some solid progress here. They have the chance of moving to second, possibly first. She is actually, I think she is in second. I believe she's gotten further than Kronos has in stage four, but it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, she's... She might have... No, I, I feel like I saw this part on Kronos' side before. It, it's hard to say. We've only got 10 minutes left, but still, leads can change. Well, Kata says Arborella might be in first. It's still hard to tell, because we don't know exactly how far in stage 4 each player has gotten. Poexel is into the odd tunnel here. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We've got thoughts. We've got clips. And so, not a huge deal. We can definitely go and look at them again. That's what I love about Twitch's clip system. Here's the deal, like, clips are supposed to be something that's exciting and fun, but it's fantastic for live matches because we can just click the clip button whenever needed so that we have that moment stored in history. Okay, Quexel passes uh, stage oh, yeah. 8 and is doing what trucks do best, which is transforming back into robots and dying. Yep. Dang, trucks. Okay, Puexel into the second tunnel here, and on to the boss. Puexel, definitely in the lead, jumping straight into a pit, but in the lead. is right behind him. No, <laughs> this is nuts. It's <laughs> yeah, criminal Arbrellia how close they are. Uses the ceiling to her advantage. I love it. Both of them fighting the boss. I don't think Arborelia is hitting it, though. Gonna have to move forward a little bit in order to actually make contact. Oh! <laughs> as soon as, as soon as she does, bam! Okay, it's okay. Lots of lots of shots. I think one of them is gonna beat this boss really soon. I mean, the nemesis doesn't have that much life. Just shoot it a bunch of times and don't get hit. Shoot it in the face. Oh yeah, and there we go, Puexel takes it down. Arborelia in second, Kronos in third. Well, eight minutes to go, so it's not over yet. Could go either way. Not over at all. I'm not sure Kronos has a chance to get back in this, but... There's all there. There's a possibility that he can start making a good press forward. Well, he's back know. to stage three, so he definitely has a chance. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> stage two is such a wall. Actually, every stage is such a wall in, in this. Wow, that's true. Puexel and yes. Arborelia on the same stage here. Yep, stage five. Puexel is in the lead, as far as I know, but that's very subject to change because. Again, Puexel and Arborelia, neither has made it to the boss of stage 5 yet. Yeah. Oh, I'm just enjoying the music. I feel like... You know, even though this music is very repetitive and essentially has no variance at all and is through the entire game. I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy this 10 second loop, you know? Uh, I think the uh, Stockholm Syndrome has set in on you, uh, bro. Do you know what games I play, RBW? Back to the Future. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's got essentially the same. <laughs> anyway. Kronos is up to stage four, so is really uh, Kronos still has a chance. It's not yeah, over just yet for gotta anyone. make. Yeah, we've got just under six minutes left. I have no idea who's going to take first or second or third at this point. Corn down up to the third Decepticon logo. Okay, good jumps by Puexel. Like honestly, I think the lead is changing between Puexel and Arborelia throughout this. Puexel just grabbed the shield. You may be able to make a push to the boss here. Oh, this is huge. This is good. Well-timed shield really comes in handy. And there we go, boss time. Quexel definitely in the lead. Yep. Corn Dan killing the boss of stage 8, but you're a zombie, so uh, you can eat my brains for all I care. Uh, please don't. I, I kind of need Percentia around. Lies! Wait, no, actually, don't eat my brain, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm arguing f in favor of my death, but... Corn I don't just know, bro. Alright, Metasaur goes down. Puexel is now on stage 6 and has a distinct lead. Uh, we have a little less than 5 minutes left, but still, oh, it's still anyone's game. Oh, yeah.
Oh my gosh. It was stressful. Because I would love it if Cornhead actually beat the game, but I'm not sure that's possible. It, it's not gonna happen, but it'll be close. Wow, everybody's I mean, been just trying got like, so hard. We got like five minutes, I don't think I'll make it, but... Stage 9 is the last though, right? Stage 10. Oh, yeah, you've got no hope, Corn Dan. No, nope, station... that's okay. I do hope he gets to the boss, though, because Stage 9's boss is Megatron, and I want to see Corn Dan shoot Megatron in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Plexel is on to the... If you drop Plexel, it's the boss time. There we go. Decepticon and... logo number two! And, yeah, um... And it's down. As Kate has pointed out, Stage 9 is a Mario 1-style maze, so you have to take the right path. Wait, seriously? Oh, that's <laughs> so course. dumb. Does it beep at you when you do it wrong? I do not know the answer to that. Oh, I hate castle mazes. They're so dumb. Okay, stage 7 for Poexel. Arborelia is on stage 5. Stage 6 goes really fast, though. Poexel just enjoying ice physics. Oh, no some definition of enjoy. It's definitely a lot easier when you're a car. I'd say. Oh, 100%. Especially because in stage 7 as a as the truck, you can actually go under most of the enemies. You just need to know where those heads are going to pop up. Uh, yeah, Poexel's trying to platform here. It's not working. Specchio, he would eventually figure it out because he doesn't seem to be making any progress and everything looks the same. Oh. Yeah, Kronos is really struggling. It would just take one good push, and then killing the boss, though, to possibly get back into second place, though. And yeah, with two minutes left, yet. we've seen it. We've seen this happen. He just needs one well-timed barrier power-up, and he's got, and he's in the bag. Oh, so. Arborelia, no! Oh. Oh my gosh, Corndam, this is so stressful watching you. <laughs> I don't like this maze. So for Sensha, are you picking up this game? Like, I do want to beat it sometime, because I really enjoy it. Alright, we're reaching our last minute. Okay, Arborelia is still on stage 5, Kronos on stage 4. I don't know if we're going to see any changes in the current order. Poexel in first, Arborelia in second, Kronos in third, and Korndan just dead. True. It's, it's kind of a sad day, everybody. I mean, Optimus Prime died so we would suffer through this game. Thank you, so Korndan. really, we all play Megatron. Make that, that, that's a lot of crap, by the way. Right, it, it doesn't even loop you back through, it just starts you over. Yep. Took the wrong route, alas. <laughs> that's crap. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what a game. Well, you know what? I feel like we have been through an incredible journey with the Transformers, but that is it. We are done. Time. What a okay. game. So, Corndan, right before we, uh, you know, dole out accolades, the trick in this level is you have to kill three enemies to get a key that will let you actually reach Megatron. Really? Yep. Okay. 
It's, and I'm pretty sure it's those three little jerks bouncing around in the uh, little box. Oh, probably. Be- because of course it would be, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just so everybody knows, Puexel took the victory today. Arborelia came in second and Kronos in third. Kronos was actually in the lead for a good amount of the time, but due to the continue function being terrible in this game, it unfortunately set the, set him back pretty considerably. But everybody had a good attempt, a good push, and frankly, I think this was a blast to watch. Oh my gosh, that was definitely an experience. Uh, so if Poexel wants, he can go ahead and hop into the general conversation there, uh, because he took the victory. Yeah, what were your thoughts, Corndan Wizard? Actually, Corndan, since you got to play this the most. I... It's not good, right? The, the, the game is, is difficult. Everything kills you, things just pop up at random and all that. However, I did actually really like it. That's good. That's what I love to hear. I'm I'm glad that you had a blast. Uh, I, I I do think that this game is definitely bad, but I want to play it. I I feel like everybody go play this game, support the Transformers, and hello Quexel. Or at the local Cybertron Academy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, I was surprised.